Hey everyone, Mike at Connecticut Auto Lock. I'm inside a 2020 Subaru Ascent with a key ignition, kind of a rare one here. Um, H key, uh, gray pod, uh, all keys lost. We have our brass key cut as well as our um, remote key cut. And we're gonna see if we can get this programmed without a working key. So we'll go to vehicle selection. Um, Subaru. Ascent 18 to 19 blade. So I'll hang up on that phone call. Connect to a mobilizer. We will start a 24 hour pass. Switch ignition off. Switch hazards on. Okay, so we're going to program lost keys. It should now read the data. And then once the data is read, we will generate an emulator. An, uh, excuse me, an emulator using the ADC 2015 cable and switch the ignition on with the brass key in the emulator, which will simulate a working key and allow us to add our key. So I will be right back once this uh, data is done. Okay, we are 95% done. This whole process took maybe, I don't know, four minutes or so. We're gonna put our new key over here. All right, so it's got a key and transponder ID. Please make sure the emulator is connected. It is plugged into the USB port on top of the Smart Pro. Switch ignition on with a blade, no transponder. So that's our regular bladed key. We're gonna switch the ignition on. Okay. We'll take our emulator in our right hand. Keys program three, so we have room for one more. Position the emulator close to the ignition coil, then press okay. So this is gonna be difficult because I only have two hands. So. We're gonna put the emulator up to the key and I'm going to press, okay? Fail to detect the emulator. I may not be holding in the right spot here. Let's try it again. All right, key emulator detected, switch off and remove. Press okay. Switch on with the new key to be programmed. And now we have four keys. So easy as that. Now, if you wanted to, no, I don't want to do any more. Um, if I wanted to now, I could take this working key and use it to delete the others or whatever you want to do now that you have a working key. So we'll just test this. And you can see the engine does start. Um, also, don't forget, program your remotes is a separate procedure. Um, uh, there's not really any need for it in this video, but I will do that next. Cool. Thanks, guys.